Okay, um, new, um, it looks like you're doing the same thing, but you're, this is the answer to the problem. <coughs> so graph the line at the following coordinates, then you are going to find your slope based off those coordinates. So, 2, 3, remember this is x, this is y. So all you do is go to 2 to x and 3 on y and make your point. Now you've done that before, okay? Then go to 7 on x and 5 on y, so 7 on x, 5 on y, and you make your point. So you're going to get the two points pretty easily, okay? Now you take your straight edge, okay, your ruler, and make a straight line through the whole graph, okay? Put arrows on both ends. Now we are going to find the slope of that line ourselves. Now this is the formula that will find our slope, y minus y, x minus x. So I set up the minuses for you. Now, what we're going to do, we're actually going to circle our first point, our second point, the second coordinate that I gave you, and you're going to put that first. Now, y is on top of x, and it always is that way, so you've got to put 5 over 7. So 5 over 7. Then go after your minus signs and go do the other point. So 3 on top, 2 on bottom. Then we just minus, so we take 5 minus 3, that's going to be 2, and 7 minus 2, that's going to be 5, and that's your answer, okay? Now here's why that's the answer, okay? Now put, oh, sorry, that's positive 2, so put up, and then 5, make an arrow that way. Now put your pencil on the first point and go up 2, and the 5 this way, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you're right at that point, so it's 2 over 5. Okay, next one, negative 5, 2, 4, 6. Yes, you do have negatives, okay? So this is x, this is y. So negative 5 on x, right there, 2 on y, right here. Then 4 on x, 6 on y. So x is 4, then I go to 6. So take your ruler and... Connect those points. Make it nice and long. Okay, now you're going to find the slope based off the line. Okay, so y minus y, x minus x. I would start with this point. Just trust me on this. Okay, so put sit in front of the minuses, in front, put 6 on top, 4 on bottom. The y always goes on top. Then after the minuses, put 2 and then negative. 5. So 6 minus 2, you got 4, and then go to a calculator and go 4 minus negative 5, just like this. 4 minus negative 5, and that gives me 9. Okay. So there's your slope. Now that's positive, so put up, and this is always this way. So from there, go up. You can always check to see if you're doing it right. If you go up, 1, 2, 3, 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that point's right there on the money. Okay, next problem. Negative 6, 4. First put x, y. So go to negative 6, negative 4. So negative 6, and then negative 4. Then 5, 4. So I go to 5, then 4. So the lines are pretty far apart, but that's okay. You just set your ruler against them and make it as straight as you can. Okay, okay so there's your line. Now what's the slope of it? Again, put the it's y on top, x on bottom. So we'll start with this one. Start with the second one. 4 on top, 5 on bottom. Then after the minuses, you can put negative 4 and then negative 6. So now I punch that into a calculator, the top, to figure out the top, 4 minus negative 4. I got 8. And then 5 minus negative 6. I got 11. Okay. That should be our answer. So that's up to the right. So go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's the other point, so that's your slope, 8 over 11.
Okay, next problem, negative 5, 3, 3, 2. Okay, so grab that one first. So x, y, so go to negative 5, 3, and then 3, 2. So I go 3 and 2. So take your straight edge and make it straight. Lines not lines like that. Okay. It's very, very not. It's not very steep, but that's fine. Okay. Put the two on top, three on bottom. Then after the minus, you put the three on top and the negative five on bottom. Okay. So two minus three. Two minus three is negative one. Okay. And then three minus negative five is eight. So, that would be down and right, okay? So, on this first point, go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the point, okay? So, I know I did it right. Negative one over eight. Okay, negative four, five. Remember, this is x, this is y. So, I go negative four, five. Then two, negative four. So, two negative 4. Okay. All right, so negative 4 on top and 2 on the bottom. And after the minuses, go 5, negative 4. Just do it the same way every time. So I take negative 4 minus 5, that's negative 9. Underline it. Then you take 2 minus negative 4, you got 6. Okay, so that is my slope. So negative 9, that's down and then to the right. So start at the first point down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I know that's the right answer. That's just me checking to see if I'm doing it right. Okay, negative 6, 3, and 2, negative 2. So this is x, this is y. So I go negative 6, 3, and then 2, negative 2. Okay, now what's the slope of the line? Well, let's put the coordinates into this formula here. So y over x, the minuses are right there for you. Okay, so put that in first. You always want to put the second one in first. So negative 2 on top, 2 on bottom. Then after the minuses, we're going to go 3, negative 6. So negative 2 minus 3, negative 5. Then 2 minus negative 6 is 8. Okay, so if that's more, I want to check my answer. I know that that's down and that's to the right. So I start here down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Okay, 3, 4, negative 4, 1. 3, 4. Here's 3, here's 4. And then negative 4, 1. Five, six, negative four. Okay. So one, five, six, negative four. Uh. 
Okay, now let's find the slope. Okay. Start with that one, put negative 4 on top, 6 on bottom, and then after the minus signs, you put 5 over 1. Okay. So negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9, and then 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay. So down 9, 5 to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. There I am. Okay, so that's the right answer.